All right, guys, a few weeks ago, I did a video called Cozy and Comforting Fragrances. And in that video, I asked you if you were interested in a less expensive version of that video. So today I've got that video and I've got 22 total fragrances. Two of them are honorable mentions because it's a little more hard to get. But those of you that are in Europe, it's much easier to get these fragrances. But as I said, 22 total fragrances, Cozy and Comforting, you know, falls around the corner. And especially with these times, Cozy and Comforting Fragrances are really perfect. And these are all under $100. So there's really inexpensive ones in here as well, down under 50, but a total of 22 that are under $100. So if you're curious to learn about these cozy, comforting fragrances that are under 100, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. We're gonna jump right into it, but before we do that, if this is your first time tuning into this channel and you still haven't subscribed to this channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So just before we move forward with the uh, fragrances, if you haven't caught my other video, those are more luxury or uh, more expensive fragrances, please do. I have a link below. You can click and watch. You can watch these back to back. But as I said, these, this is the less expensive version. And we're gonna start off right off the bat with this one I featured in an H&M Fragrances video called Vanilla Malagasy, this one right here. Total price of this one is $29.99. So it's a 50 ml bottle though. So if you total up, it's $60, but you know, these are on sale. I bought mine for about $23 for a 50 ml. So catch them on sale and things like that. And it'll be even less expensive. But this one, Vanilla Malagasy is a very fruity vanilla, but the fruits kind of disappear. And for me, it kind of like dries down to smelling something like a spirituous double vanilla from Guerlain. So if you like that kind of a, a you know, vanilla fragrance, very cozy and comforting. Something similar to Eau de Missions. Uh, I don't know if you know that brand, which is no longer, well, the brand is still around, but that fragrance, Eau de Missions, is no longer. Then you will like this one. But just keep in mind, it has fruits. It's vanilla, benzoin. Benzoin is a resin. Vanilla is, uh, you know, of course, the delicious sweet treat you have with uh, desserts and things like that. So it's nicely meshed with uh, benzoin, as I said, vanilla benzoin. There's some praline here, jasmine, and there's loads of peach and plum. But the peach and plum are not long lasting. And in the end, you get a dry down of a beautiful vanilla dessert, slightly boozy with uh, little uh, touches of fruits. It's really delicious. Check it out. Vanilla Malagasy from H&M. We've got some fragrances from a house called Yves Rocher. I have I did a video on three fragrances from this house uh, last year, and I brought these back from Yves Rocher. Now, if you have a hard time finding Yves Rocher in the USA, I know they're all over France and Europe, do go to their website, Yves Rocher USA. I think it's YvesRocherUSA.com. So Queer de Nuit is, I think the fragrances are a little named differently. It says queer on here, and um, doesn't queer mean leather? But this one's all about vanilla. And if you like that spiritus double vanille vanilla, like I told you about just a little while ago, this is even closer with no fruits. So this one to me reminds me of Eau de Missions uh, and Spiritus Double Vanille. It's really, really delicious, boozy vanilla. But according to the notes, it's vanilla, cacao, coffee, pink pepper. And I brought three fragrances back from France around 85 or 90 euros total for all three. So that there was some kind of a promotion. And I have seen promotions for this fragrance on Yves Rocher USA as well. Do check back, but currently 100 ml is $85 without a sale, but they do go on sale. So they go down even further, but it's a really, really delicious uh, fragrance with vanilla, cacao, coffee, pink pepper, but that whole concoction of those notes reminds me of Spiritus Double Vanille, and it's really, really cozy and comforting. So that's Yves Rocher Queer de Nuit. And this next one is another one from the, this house, Yves Rocher. Again, check out their website. It's uh, yvesrocherusa.com, I believe, but something in that um, ballpark. This is Sable Fauve, and this time we're actually uh, same price, same ballpark. Check out their sales. They do go on sale. They go down on sale in France quite frequently when I walk in to their stores. And as I said, I brought three of them back for around 85, 90 euros, which was a great deal. And they worked out to be about 30 euros each. But this one's all about benzoin, tonka beans, and labdanum. It's a vanillic resin benzoin with that, you know, nut nutty, slightly uh, creamy, uh, quality of the 
there's also like light coffee, uh, not coffee, but light tobacco touches with the tonka in here and then along with labdanum. So it's very ambery. If you like sweet, resinous, ambery fragrances, this one's going to satisfy. So these are both from that house, Yves Rocher. Check it out because I think you're going to like them, especially if you like uh, sweet, gourmand, cozy fragrances. This next one is probably the only oud in this collection, but it's Oud with vanilla and rose. This is Frank Olivier Oud Vanille. Now, uh, when I bought this uh, and I did a video on inexpensive fragrances, I did an inexpensive or cheap fragrances haul. It was a little cheaper. Now I found it online for 100 ml, 49.99. So it's still inexpensive. It's 100 ml for 49.99. It's a good price. But you've got vanilla, incense, rose, woody notes, caramel, patchouli, spices, raspberry. In the end, it's a very cozy, comforting fragrance, but with oud thrown in. So the oud is prominent, it's covering up that vanilla. And in the end, when the vanilla kind of smells like spiritus double vanille for me, it's mixed in with the rose and the oud, so it takes on a different uh, uh, characteristic uh, uh, overall. But I feel like still the fragrance, even though it has oud and rose, is very, very cozy and comforting. So that's oud vanille from the house of Frank Olivier. Now this next one is one of my favorite inexpensive musk fragrances. This is Kiehl's original musk, this one right here. But I find it to be very, very cozy and comforting. It does have that authentic deer musk smell but it's all synthetically created to smell like that and it's amazing guys it's a really really great fragrance uh, but it's made with fl flowers and a synthetic musk with orange blossom i think there's ylang ylang here tonka beans lily rose neroli patchouli bergamot now this one's keels keels store sells them i don't know if you can buy them at other places but some department stores that sell keels will have this there so if you can't find them there they're not usually on sale it's 44 dollars for a, a 50 ml bottle it's also slightly pricier when you factor in 100 ml here but they do occasionally have deals where you can take advantage of sometimes it goes down to about 39 dollars so that's a still a pretty good deal for this when you have this really really sexy musk that smells authentically like deer musk but very very uh, synthetic but you know what when i use the word synthetic it's not doesn't smell bad it doesn't smell synthetic it smells really really like real true musk that's why I find it to be really, really sexy. Also very, very cozy and comforting. So that's Kiehl's Original Musk. Definitely highly recommended for an inexpensive musk that's cozy and comforting. All right, so we're going to one department store that sells uh, fragrances for inexpensive, and that uh, department store is Zara. And we're gonna start with first this one. This is a video I did like three years ago, four years ago, and somebody had told me about this fragrance and it's, it smells like Herod, like a gooey, uh, syrupy kind of uh, pure Havan Herod kind of a combo. It's rich, warm, addictive from Zara. And I find it to be a very, very cozy, comforting, inexpensive fragrance. It was once shelved, then later brought back. And I think it's been there for a while now. It's 100 ml for $19.99. I currently saw it at Zara. It's definitely worth it. If you like inexpensive fragrances that are cozy and comforting. Very syrupy sweet though. This one is lots of syrupy uh, qualities. It's got loads of honey, coconut, and tobacco. And those work really wonderfully together. It does... It does hint at uh, Herod a little bit, and I think it also hints a little bit at uh, Pure Havan. Not a lot. More Herod than um, Pure Havan, but in the end, they're not identical fragrances. You, it might remind you of Herod, but then again, it's a different fragrance. So honey, coconut, tobacco, sandalwood, cedar. It's got a very, very creamy quality to it, and I think it's because of the coconut and sandalwood together. And when you have creamy quality and syrupy, gooey, sweet uh, fragrances, a totally cozy and comforting for twenty dollars this one i think is definitely uh worth it I, I highly recommend that one you should definitely get it now this next one is a fairly new discovery for me and somebody or one of you subscribers had told me about it i immediately ordered it because it was inexpensive and um, it was also free shipping, so I got it. It suggests a retail $25.90 at Zara, 100 ml bottle, a sweet pastry in Paris is what it's called. So it's a gourmand, of course, but what's going on with this one is a sweet lemony uh, pastry, sort of something like that. You're walking by a pastry shop or a, you know, a boulangerie or something, and you walk in, you see all these pastries, and there's that aroma in there. Or you picked up something that's warm, that you've taken outside and you put it to your nose and you smell this like beautiful aroma of sugary, sweet, vanillic, lemony kind of desserts. It's really, really cozy and comforting. Uh, it might be a little too sweet for some of you, but I feel like it's definitely smells like dessert, like really, really 
desserty kind of something. Slightly custardy qualities are in here, but lemon custard and things like that with a, like a like a pastry on the bottom. Like imagine a little cup, like a, a peanut butter cup, but it's with a lemony custardy thing with that um, pastry shell under it. It kind of reminds me of something like that. So it's sweet, it's gourmand, it's delicious, and it's $25.90. So if you like cozy comforting fragrances with a little so you know citrusy lemony touch along with like that really sweet uh sugary sweet vanilla then a sweet pastry in paris uh, is definitely one for you to try and the next fragrance from zara and the last is one that i bought earlier this year that i did a video about it feels like summer this one right here this one's very very cozy and comforting it's because it's got a very creamy quality to it lots of oranges here lots of apricots and it's really beautifully meshed with sandalwood i mean even though it's called zara feels like summer i mean it's a summery fragrance because you're using oranges and apricots but the actual smell is beautifully fruity citrusy creamy so it's almost like there's milky quality in here and that's coming from the sandalwood and it really really smells delicious 30 ml bottle is 9.99 but i recently saw it at zara for about four dollars for a 30 ml so it's really really inexpensive um I highly recommend it. It's like you're buying a decant and you're getting 30 mLs for four bucks. It was on sale. So if you like oranges, apricots, sandalwood, you should definitely check it out. It smells really, really delicious and fruity. So this next one is, I think, recently been discontinued, but I still found them online for about 25 bucks. This is from the house of Jovan. It's Secret Amber. It's an 88 milliliter bottle for 25 bucks. Now this is such a great amber. In fact, this collection was really great. The oud and the, uh, I think it was the oud. The oud and the amber were really, really great. And for 25 bucks, if you can still get this, get it because it's a great, great amber. Or if you can get it for less expensive, even better. Uh, but I think, as I said, it is discontinued. But if you love ambers, sweeter uh, ambers, vanillic, spicy ambers, musky ambers, definitely uh, one for you to try. Again, this one's focusing on amber, loads of vanilla, loads of nutmeg, cinnamon, musk, ginger, and rose. It's really Really, really quite delicious definitely worth it it used to be a lot cheaper it used to be around 14 15 bucks and that was a great great price for this but now it's 25 and it, i find it to be very very cozy and comforting and definitely worth it so that's jovan secret musk i'm sorry secret amber for 25 bucks this next one is a fragrance i haven't spoken about on this channel uh and it's a recent pickup but i've always known about this fragrance for a long time and i've always loved the way it smells this is a from a house called elisa ashley and this is musk right here it's a unisex musk as you can see the the the, the sexes symbols down there and it's 20 bucks for 100 ml and it's a great great clean musk it's very sexy to wear uh there's loads of musk here there's tonka there's iris there's ylang ylang jasmine bergamot oak moss geranium and rose it, I'm going to put some of this on because I'm not wearing anything today as I'm shooting this. But, you know, it sort of has similarities to this, but this one goes into a, a more of a white musk direction um, rather than like a, you know, like a actual authentic deer musk direction that this one smells like. But still, in the end, they both smell similar. But the fact that this one kind of goes into a more cleaner musk direction than this one it makes them different. So if you like the idea of musk and, and you like the idea of inexpensive musks, definitely check this one out. Now, it might smell a little classic to some people, but if you like the idea of musk, as I said, it's very, very sexy. And it's also unisex. Both husband and wife can totally wear this one. So this is Elisa Ashley Musk. It's about a 20 bucks for 100 ml. 12 more left. Of course, 10 uh, of the regular fragrances and two honorable mentions are a little more difficult to get that I'm going to talk to you about. But this one's from the House of Banana Republic. This is Tobacco and Tonka. This one's a really, really delicious Tobacco and Tonka bean fragrance. This currently I saw online for about $34 at the discounters in a 75 ml bottle. So um, it's definitely inexpensive, but it's not the traditional 100 ml, so you have to justify the price there. Uh, so it turns out to be a little more expensive than $34, per, uh, like $3.40 per mil. But um, vanilla, tonka beans, tobacco, coconut, anjou pear, mirabelle. This one's actually really, really cozy and comforting because the combination of tobacco with vanilla and tonka bean is a, a match made in heaven. Just like rose and oud go hand in hand together, vanilla, tobacco, tonka beans really, really go wonderfully together. And it really does smell fantastic here. It's nothing like rich, warm, and addictive, but it might have somewhat um, similar qualities, I guess. But not, they don't smell alike. 
because I feel like this one adds the coconut and the Anjou pear and the Mirabelle, the coconut gives it that creamy vibe that you want that gives us the coziness. Although vanilla and tonka bean already are quite co cozy and then along with the coconut and some light fruity touches, it's a really delicious fragrance. Uh, I think this is one of the better ones in the recent launch of the Banana Republic fragrances that I did a video on. And it happened to be my favorite and I did not like the cherry one at all because it just didn't smell fantastic to me. But this one actually definitely does smell great. It's tobacco and tonka bean from Banana Republic uh, and it's really delicious uh, actually. So this next one is fairly inexpensive and I brought a bottle back from France uh, quite a long time ago. It's currently selling online for 100 ml for $13 but I can't find the spray bottles I found a splash bottle. This is LT Piver Heliotrope Blanc and it's basically a very almondy powdery heliotrope fragrance. 100 ml for $13. It's splash as I said I can't find the spray but this is really really delicious guys. If you like almonds, heliotrope, vanilla, ylang ylang and jasmine you're gonna really enjoy it and it's gonna be very very comforting for you guys. Just find that whole almondy heliotrope vanilla thing very very cozy and comforting and for 13 bucks even though it does doesn't spray a 100 ml bottle you can put it in like a sprayable atomizer or something or just splash it on because the smell is really fantastic the only thing about this one it might lean a little more classic so if you don't like older fragrances you might it might turn you off but if you enjoy heliotrope and almonds I think you should totally be into it but just keep in mind that it is a, a powdery fragrance so this is heliotrope blanc from LT Piver a great one when I need some cozy comforting or just like some powdery almondy touch I just spray that on and then just relax it does really do wonders with the coziness. Now this next one is one that's targeted strictly to men. I think everything I've talked about so far has been unisex. This is a uh, ma male targeted fragrance but it's uh, actually very unisex for women to wear. In fact women are big fans of this fragrance. This is Caron Puranum de Caron with a dominant lavender note and currently a 125 uh, milliliter bottle is $32. Um, so it's quite uh, inexpensive, especially for the fact that you get 25 more uh, milliliters with this one. It's not a traditional 100 ml, it's 125 ml for 32. Totally, totally worth it. Get a bottle. In fact, get a couple of bottles and keep some around. And when you're like, you know, feeling tired or you need some, you know, coziness and comforting and chilling, this really does uh, soothe. I mean, lavender is known for... Uh, soothing and calming because you know people put them in their bed the smell and things like that plus you throw in the vanilla with some musk and it's really really cozy and comforting I feel like it's really really relaxing and the combination of the lavender with the vanilla is really really a match made in heaven it does really work that aromatic herbal uh, slightly soapy quality of the lavender with that really gooey comforting uh, quality delicious quality of the vanilla together it smells fantastic anyway Caron Puran on the Caron is 125 ml bottle for 32, uh, $32, which is uh, quite fantastic. And this is also targeted to the men, and I think this one also has major fans of uh, by the ladies, so it's totally unisex. This is Pure Havan, and currently it's running for 63 bucks online. So 100 ml bottle, 63 is pretty good price. Normally it's about $100, 80, $95, somewhere around there, suggested retail. So it is slightly discounted, but this one, what's known about this one is the honey, tobacco, vanilla, cacao, patchouli, amber, styrax, and labdanum. And the combination is great. It smells fantastic. It's totally gooey, syrupy, ambery, and it's very, very cozy and comforting. I really, really enjoy it. And totally unisex. Don't worry about the fact that it's uh, a male targeted fragrance. Women can totally pull this one off. And uh, again, it's pure Havan from Mugler, a great, great scent for um, cozy, comforting vibe. Now this next one, I've got two fragrances from one house. The first one, we're going to go with Lavande from Molinard. Currently, there are some deals online for this for about a 75 ml bottle for about $50. I did see them at the discounters, but suggested retail is 65 So they're not that discounted, but a great, great scent. I have a video about this fragrance online, and I compare it to Tom Ford's Lavender Extreme. They're very close. They have similarities. They have minor nuances or differences, but in the end, they're very similar. This came first. Tom Ford's fragrance came later. But what I like about this one is lavender meshed with beautiful benzoin and vanilla. So vanilla and benzoin are very cozy and comforting. And lavender as I said, traditionally people put lavender in their bed so that they can calm and relax and sleep easily. So the whole entire combination is very cozy and comforting. Add some clary sage, some patchouli, labdanum, and tonka. At the end, it's very ambery, uh, vanillic, um, you know, kind of gooey uh, lavender fragrance. Really, really delicious, guys. Definitely check this one out. And it really does smell uh, similar to Tom Ford's Lavender Extreme. And the second fragrance from Molinard is 
Vani. Of course, I've got to add Vani in here. And once again, this one I found online for around 50 bucks as well at the discounters. So it's a 75 ml bottle, regular price is 65, so you're saving about um, $15 suggested retail. So that's pretty good for a 75 ml bottle. But what's this one known about? That's the name right there, vanilla, and that's all that the notes are in here. So it's vanilla, but nothing but vanilla, but the vanilla. But for me, it's a vanilla that's very creamy, so I get whipped cream qualities, and I also get slight caramelly undertones here with very, very light floral touches and some very, very light hints of woods in there, and that's pretty much it. But the most thing uh, in here is vanilla. There's some slight booziness in here as well, so you do pick up that up, but mostly I'm smelling uh, just vanilla, like you're getting about ready to, you know, take spoonfuls of vanilla and eat it. So if you like vanilla and fragrances and you find them cozy, comforting, definitely check this one out. It's Molinard's Vanille, really, really delicious vanilla. This next one is a tea fragrance, focusing on tea. It's from the house of Berdu. This is Assam of India, this one right here. Now this one, I couldn't find any deals online, but it is definitely under 100. But you know, some stores sell them and you can get discounts from them, especially these days, they're doing discounts. A lot of retailers will do them if you ask, and so do that. But what I like about this one, it's the coziness of the tea. It's tea with lemons and sandalwood. And my grandmother used to drink tea with lemons all the time. I don't have, she's long gone now. I don't have current relatives that do that. That, but I always found it unique to have that lemon uh, with tea combination. I don't know, I've never got into it myself. But what I like about this one, even though it says it's lemons, I get a very orangey quality with the tea, and it's got a very smooth, creamy, woody uh, backbone of sandalwood. So not a lot going on with this one, but it smells like tea. It's a really, really delicious tea fragrance, very citrusy and woody with the sandalwood. That's not pretty much it. And I find it to be very, very cozy and comforting because I always find that drinking tea ritual very cozy and comforting to begin with and this one really does soothe you and relax you it's great it's a uh, berdu or parfums berdu assam of india great tea scent we're going to a house uh, called comptoir sud pacifique next and i've got three fragrances from them i think this is vanille banana uh, blind without my glasses i think that's what it is and vanille banana is a vanilla with banana i mean that's pretty much it you get a vanilla with banana so the suggested retail price of this one is 85 dollars there are discounts online and the discounts i saw them for uh the 30 ml bottles um not the 100 ml bottles. This is 100 ml for 85, as I said. All of the fragrances in this house are 100 ml 85. But look around, find some deals, and of course some places have discounts. Ask, and they will give them to you. I always ask for discounts to begin with, and they, they offer it sometimes, like a 10% discount or something. But what I like about this one is just basically banana with vanilla. Lots of it. And it almost smells like a vanilla dessert with bananas. So banana, vanilla, whipped cream, rum, banana leaf, orange, and clover. It's very cozy and comforting and uh, like a sundae, like an ice cream sundae, basically what it smells like with bananas. It's really, really delicious and cozy and comforting. But you gotta love bananas and perfumes, if that makes sense. So if you do like the idea of bananas, and of course, vanilla, check this one out. It's vanilla banana. Next one, again, is another fragrance from this house, Comptoir Sud Pacific. These, this house has really great gourmand fragrances because they're all very cozy and comforting and they're all under a hundred dollars suggested retail 100 ml bottle for 85 but you can find deals as i said just look around online and this one is called amour de cacao it's focusing on chocolate and uh Currently, I did see a 100 ml bottle of this one online for 52, so there is a uh, discount on it. But just keep in mind that I shoot these videos sometimes uh, a few weeks uh, in advance, and uh, so uh, the discounted uh, prices might not reflect it currently. But at last viewing, I saw a 100 ml bottle for 52. Now this one is cacao, vanilla, orange, star fruit. So it's a chocolate with vanilla. So it's very cozy and comforting with slight citrus and uh, fruity undertones or tropical fruity undertones. But it's mostly about the cacao with vanilla here. The orange and star fruit. In fact, the star fruit is hardly present. You get light, light, light touches. Oranges are definitely there, but they don't last as long. And again, the star of the show with this one is the cacao with the vanilla. It's really delicious, guys. Amour de cacao. 100 ml for 52 it's cozy and comforting you definitely should check it out get some samples if you can last but not least with this fragrance from this house is vanille cafe this time we're focusing on a coffee with vanilla it's mostly about coffee and vanilla but there are some uh, you know resinous touches of benzoin there's some musk there's a little bit of light almondy touch and some woody cedar in here and same price, 100 ml, suggested retail 85, but I did see a 30 ml online for 28 bucks. So again, it's not necessarily the 
most cheapest or the cheapest, but you know, if you find deals, you can. And as I said, if you find a retailer that sells this for 85, 100 ml, ask them for a discount. As I said, some of them give you a 10%, even maybe some give you 15% and things like that. So it's definitely worth it. It's cozy and comforting, but this time you got coffee and vanilla together for a very delicious, delicious combo. So that is Vanille Cafe from Comptoir Sud Pacifique. If you don't know these brands, do let me know. And if you do, and if you own these fragrances, also let me know, put a comment down so I can find out. So now the last two fragrances I want to talk to you about is they're a little more challenging to get unfortunately here in the States, but in Europe and especially in France, uh, they're all over and they, I bought, I bought two, I bought three fragrances I brought back from France recently of this house uh, when I was there before the pandemic. It's from the house of Laurence Dumont, Les Centures Gourmands. Tendre Madeleine is probably one of the most delicious gourmand fragrances that's really inexpensive. As I said, these sell in France for about 20, 25 euros for a 100 ml bottle and if you like the fragrance Lyra by Zerzhov or anything in that ballpark of oranges and madeleines and uh, you know doughy vanilla and the caramel and things like that you got to check this one out if you can get your hands on it here I'd highly recommend you get it I mean the very first time I bought a bottle I bought it from um, uh, Amazon and Amazon has a page for it but it says it's out of stock if you ever see it get it uh, and again if you're in Europe or traveling through I found bottles for about 25 euros and I bought three different fragrances so this one orange vanilla almonds spices wheat so it smells very cozy and comforting very very delicious and creamy vanilla kind of uh, orange laced uh, dessert uh, m basically madeleines and this other one is more spicy this is a vanilla noir or vanille noir and this one it's a darker take on vanilla it's slightly boozy but lots of cloves and pink pepper so it's spicy and it's got slight chai like qualities chai tea like qualities and spicy pepper but it's vanilla in the end it's a darker vanilla as you can see so this one i can currently see it on amazon it's available i think it's around 50 bucks uh, so it is so here but I just wanted to point these out that if you can get your hands on them I highly recommend them they are inexpensive traditionally but sometimes at the discounters around here in the States uh, they raise the prices up but if you're like I said if you're ever traveling in Europe or you are in Europe and you go to France you know get them because I think they're very very great gourmand fragrances that are cozy and comforting and the whole brand is great actually if you ever stumble onto a display of them smell them all because they're really great fragrances. Anyway, those are my 22 fragrances that are cozy and comforting under $100. Guys, if you know these fragrances, let me know which is your favorite. And if you have any recommendations or suggestions that I should check out that are inexpensive and cozy and comforting, please put a comment down and let me know what they are so I can check that, check them out and then see if I can pick, up, pick them up uh, in the near future. Anyway, I appreciate you tuning in today. Stay tuned for more videos. I've been focusing on doing videos every day uh, the last couple of, um, going on the second week now. Um, there's a few uh, brand new releases that I wanted to review. So tomorrow I have a review for a brand new fragrance. So stay tuned for that. I won't say what it is, but just it's from a designer. Um, and I think I'm going to do another Sunday of video. So every day of the week, and then I'll kind of go back to six days a week as normal. But if we get more fragrances, new releases, I'll continue doing them. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great Saturday. Please uh, like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.